we are about to start this uh, meeting and this occasion and this function. We are just waiting for Sreya. This is why I thought that we are talking about Hindi so that everyone can understand. So, friends, today's evening, 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 today's हमारे खुद की एसोसिएशन यानी कि एसोसिएशन एसोसिएटेड चैम्बर ऑफ कॉमर्स के माध्यम से ये कार्यक्रम आप सबके सामने उपस्थित हो रहा है इसका पर्पज़ और मकसद ये है कि सहारजा एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी हमें एक अपॉर्चुनिटी प्रोवाइड कर रहा है कि वहाँ पे फ्री जोन हमें दिया जा रहा है जहाँ पे हम हमारी ट्रेड और इंडस्ट्रीज का एक्सपांसन कर सकें उनकी जो सहूलतें हैं उनका फ़ायदा उठा के हम एक्रोस द ग्लोब हमारे प्रोडक्ट को पहुँचा सकें और इसके लिए जो भी प्रयास है वो सिंगल विंडो प्रोसेस से वो हमें प्रोवाइड करें इस मकसद से वो जो भी सुविधाएं हमें देने वाले हैं उनके बारे में वो आज हमें बता दिया एंड आई एम श्योर कि हिज एक्सलेंस मोहम्मद सलीम अल मोहम्मद जी इस आस्किंग दैट व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग राइट नाउ एक्सलेंस इज बीन ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ इट की I was just sharing, sir, the whatever opportunity you are providing to the trade and industry of especially Surat and South Gujarat. The members have reached over here from South Gujarat. So that trade and industry, how we can go over the boundaries, we can utilize your facilities and how we can expand our business across the globe via uh, Sarja International Airport the Free Zone Authority. That is what I was just sharing with them. Friends, uh, let us start this uh, occasion. I would like to share a few things about uh, Asojong because uh, the program which was organized was with their support and with their support. The program is safe zone, but they have done a lot of work to make it safe zone. Uh, Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Asojong. Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Asojong. Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Asojong. Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Asojong. Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Asojong. Asojong is the Chamber of Commerce. और पूरे इंडिया में उनकी शाखाएं हैं और ऑलमोस्ट हर सेगमेंट में उनकी नेशनल काउंसिल है जिसका एक प्रॉपर ऑर्गेनाइज स्ट्रक्चर है जिसके माध्यम से वो ट्रेड एंड इंडस्ट्रीज को सपोर्ट करते हैं और उनका जो मेन फंक्शन है बिकॉज इट इज हंड्रेड इयर्स ओल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो एक एजुकेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के रूप में भी वो उभर के निकले हैं बहुत प्राउड की बात है एसोसिएशन के लिए कि इन्हें जे आर डी टाटा है नानी पालखी वाला है या तो फिर अगर हम बात करें तो एच पी नंदा है एल एन थापर है ऐसे बिजनेस आइटम्स ने उन्हें लीड किया है उस तरह का ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो उनके सौजन्य से आज ये कार्यक्रम हो रहा है यहाँ पर मैं खास तौर से नॉन देना चाहूँगा और सबको बताना चाहूँगा कि दिस प्रोग्राम इज सपोर्टेड बाय एस डी सी सी आई सुजन गुजरात चैम्बर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्रीज जिनके हमारे वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्ट हिमांशु गुरा हमारे बीच मौजूद है I would like to recognize him also, as well as we have the past president Dr. Gandhi is also with us. I recognize his presence also. Along with that, uh, MSME and Startup Forum Bharat is also uh, one of the supporter of this event, and we have Vice President Gujarat Chetan Seth uh, with us. I recognize him also. We have members from Thai Surat uh, Kashyap Bhai is leading that uh, forum. I would like to recognize him also. We have. साउथ गुजरात टेक्सटाइल प्रोसेसर एसोसिएशन मेंबर्स आल्सो अवेलेबल हियर आई वुड लाइक टू रिकॉग्नाइज देम आल्सो फोस्टा इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द सपोर्टर फॉर दिस इवेंट सासमा एंड सेवा बोप आर द सपोर्टर ऑफ दिस इवेंट एंड यू वुड लाइक टू रिकॉग्नाइज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑल द मेंबर्स एंड इनवाइटेड फ्रॉम दिस फॉरम एंड सीता इज आल्सो हियर आई वुड लाइक टू रिकॉग्नाइज सीता मेंबर आल्सो तो दोस्तों इनके साथ मैं ऑफिशियल फॉर्मल वेलकम के लिए यहाँ पे जो बुलाना चाहूँगा वो एस्टाब्लिश मेंबर ऑफ एसोसिएशन एस वेल एस मेंबर ऑफ एमएसएमई फॉरम एंड सीईओ सबसे डिस्टिलरीज इन सूरत मिस्टर सेयांस गोइंग टू टू द फॉर्मल वेलकम एड्रेस ऑन दिस ओकेशन सेयांस वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल On behalf of Associan Gujarat State Development Council, I extend a warm welcome to 
Honorable His Excellency Mohammad Salim Al Mamu, the Director of Civic Zone, and other senior officials from Civic Zone, Sri Rajivji and Sri Vishnu. I also welcome my industry colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from the media for today's interactive program. The Associated Chamber of Commerce and Industry of India is the apex national chamber serving the nation since 1920 with a unique distinction of representing more than 4.5 lakh large, medium and small scale sector companies from across our nation. As India's top business development organization, Associate has unparalleled and continuous liaison with governments, policy makers, legislators and diplomatic missions. Our research study papers have earned us the recognition of a national knowledge chamber also. Friends, it's a great coincidence that the 75th anniversary, the Platinum Jubilee of India's independence, and the 50th anniversary, Golden Jubilee of the unification and foundation of the UAE are in the same year. In the last few years, the India and the UAE relations have been transformed into a comprehensive strategical partnership, extending our bilateral cooperation in multiple fields. The recently signed Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, CEPA, was a natural progression for bilateral trade relations between India and the UAE. I believe that at least 90% of the country, of the companies in both the countries will benefit immediately once SEPA comes into effect. The benefits will cross and show whatever expectations are. Gujarat is one of the most industrial states, uh, as you are all aware, with significant presence in the pharma, chemicals, textiles, refining, petrochemicals, or uh, diamond. Uh, to just to name a few sectors. And Surat is Gujarat's second largest city and is one of the fastest growing business hubs in the country and a thriving commercial centre. As you all know, it is considered to be the financial capital and the growth engine of Gujarat. Surat is famous for its diamond and textile industry. Apparently, these are the two main export items from India to the UAE. As for the official estimates, the SEPA would boost the textile sector by increasing our exports by almost $2 billion over the next five years and will propel also India's jewelry exports to the UAE to over $10 billion annually. I am confident that Surat, like always, will lead in contributing to this target. And it's not a mere coincidence that the first international direct flight from Surat is to Shahjah. Your Excellency, we are, direct, we are delighted to have you with us today. You have visited Surat at an opportune time. Today, MSMEs and startups in Surat are going global. I certainly believe that we can greatly benefit from the safe zone offering for a win-win situation for both sides. Your engagement with the industry members today will definitely pave the way for several growth initiatives, inbound and outbound. We would like to hear more. Uh, regarding the safe zone uh, presentation and what are what is the option from the safe zone thank you okay hum local trade and industries ke liye sab segment ke liye kaam karte hain to hamare beech inke president direct maujood hai sri himansh gurawal i would like to invite him for his address on trade and industries himansh Key sector on the Mohammad Salim Al Mohammad, senior officers of SEPI, so Mr. Rajiv Ji and Mr. Vishnu Ji, Sreya Ji Goel, and office bearers of SOCM, members from trade and industry. I extend my heartfelt thanks to His Excellency for inviting us to be part of this program of today. Promoting the investment opportunity at Saja Airport International Free Zone, also known as Safi Zone, is one of the most exclusive free zone in the UAE. It puts to over dollar hundred million and trade its services to over dollar fifty million within five years. The trade pact we have been taking the two ways trade to dollar hundred million in five years from the existing sixty million dollar. In this FTA, both sides have agreed for significant concessions to each other. The products like precious metal jewelry and other important goods can now be imported from 
very without any area. This is an excellent scope of for general manufacturing to have manufacturing unit in UAE. I am sure there will be opportunities for other sectors as well. Besides, UAE is the gateway to the global market. Having your presence in UAE provides access to entire globe to your business. Recently, in the month of March 22, we have organized our first ever international textile expo in Dubai. This expo was very well supported by Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry and it has facilitated new business opportunities for many of our members. Now our members have started regular supply to their, of their goods to quality importers in Dubai. During this expo, we have witnessed huge demand of Surat made textiles from Dubai to be sold to the global market. I think in the safety zone, there can be a huge warehouse to be given exclusively to the textile manufacturers of Surat, which will then use this warehouse as a hub for the global operations. I request the safety zone authorities to look into such possibilities and can coordinate with our chamber for further facilitation in this regard, sir. Further, many startups from India have been showing interest in moving to UAE due to various tax benefits offered by their government. At least half a dozen prominent Indian tech, uh, Indian tech startup founders and several investors have relocated to Dubai, which is quickly turning into India's proxy tech capital. There are huge incentives from setting up one unit in Saudi zone. Which all which we all will be informed shortly by the team of UAE. I also urge startups from our region to think of setting up their units in Saudi zone, and they should have detailed understanding on the process of registering their units in this zone. I am sure that will help them have sustainable growth. I am sure that with such gatherings on regular intervals, we will see an enhanced opportunity for businessmen of both of our region to flourish in their with of choices. Thank you, thank you very much. Which let's say when we have seen that the Dubai Expo has changed that mindset and perception in people's mind. That it's not only a tourist place, it's not only a very organized city, but it's a very big business hub and gateway to the world. और आज उसकी शुरुआत कर रहे हैं आशा सर उन्होंने गलत नहीं क्योंकि बहुत सारे फ्री जोन वहाँ पे उनमें से एक फ्री जोन जो कि सही जोन हमारे बीच में आज उनके रिप्रेजेंटेटिव यहाँ पे मौजूद है ये जो डायरेक्टर सर्स डायरेक्टर साजा को इंटरनेशनल फ्री जोन यूएई मिस्टर इस एक्सेलेंस मोहम्मद स I would like to inform that you can write down the questions and end of the, this presentation we will catch up with all the questions. They will guide us that how we can get associated with this cell zone and all information will be provided. They are here, they have done so many uh, B2B meets with uh, two of the individuals. If required, they are ready to extend the time even after this meeting and they will answer all your questions. So please write down your question and we will take it after this presentation. I would like to invite this excellence moment. Please. Uh, actually, I will give I will give you the, uh, the welcome speech, and then it will be followed by a presentation. Uh, my colleagues, uh, Mr. Bishop. So, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure on behalf of Shelter Airport International Fizo to welcome you to this session of expanding your business globally. India and the UAE enjoy excellent bilateral relations which are deep rooted and historical, close cultural and civilizational affinities and vibrant people to people linkage. The relationship goes deeper than just straight figures. And Sharjah has become home to many Indian families who came to do business and have become an integral part of the UAE. India is the third largest trade partner for UAE. 
There has been a constant exchange of trade, delegations, and economic participation in forums and meetings, and discussions and, and discussion on trade and investment opportunities in both countries. The recent, the recent agreement CEPA uh, will provide significant benefit to the Indian and UAE businesses, including enhanced market access and reduced tariffs. The CEPA agreement between India and the UAE covers almost all the tariffs lines dealt in by, the Indian, dealt in by India and the UAE. India will benefit from preferential market access provided by the UAE on over 97% of its tariffs. And the, uh, and it is, and the UAE in, in value terms, especially for all labor intensive sectors such as gems, jewelry, textile, leather, footwear, sports, goods, plastic furniture, agriculture and wood products, engineering products, medical devices and automobiles. It is expected that CIPA will lead on an increase in bilateral trade from the current 60 billion to 100 billion in the next five years. India ex exporters will not only gain market access in the UAE, but will also provide them wider access, larger Arab and African markets. Our aim at SafeZone is to facilitate a platform that has access to every advantage needed for doing business. Being in SafeZone is not worth increased prosperity and even greater success. We look forward to exploring the many opportunities that St. John has to offer so that we continue to share St. John's big and bright future. A future that is ours to build together. Thank you and I'd like to give the, the, the chance to my colleague for the presentation. Thank you very much, His Excellence. I would like to now invite for the presentation that what kind of opportunities we are having and what is the advantage of setting a business in Safe Zone. Uh, I would like to invite on the stage Mr. Vishnu Sundarayan for the presentation. We will have a short video of uh, this presentation and then I will have a floor to him. So please, please with us. We are now home to a large and growing number of companies from across the world with employees directly engaged in the trading, services and industrial sectors. To take your business to the next level by contacting SafeZone. like a quick infographic about what SafeZone has to offer. Now, from a presentation perspective, I'm actually going to take you in detail with regards to what the UAE is, what our economic and market conditions are, what SafeZone's economic and charges market conditions are, and then I will get into more detail with regards to what are the processes with regards to setting up your company. What are the steps related to how do you decide what type of company to set up in with Safe Zone? So firstly, I'll speak about with regards to the UAE and why UAE is known as the gateway to the entire world. So when you look into it, the UAE is positioned right in the middle between Asia and Europe and also Africa. This allows for a lot of easy movement with regards to companies who want to trade with uh, different countries. 
So Indian companies or people from the Indian subcontinent who want to deal with companies from Europe or Africa use UAE as their gateway and similarly with companies from Europe and Asia who look into UAE as their gateway to come into different markets. So if you want to look at the trade statistics, you will see that the UAE's exports are valued at 368 million US dollars. The imports coming into the UAE are valued at 273 billion US dollars and the total GDP of UAE is coming up to about 419 billion US dollars. And um, something which I am proud most Indians would feel happy about is out of the approximate 10 million uh, people who reside in the UAE, 33% of the population are people of Indian origin. So you are not going to feel short of any Indian crowds within there or even Indian restaurants or any sort of Indian vibes which you miss when you are outside the UAE, outside India basically. And another key factor is the location makes a big difference because you are able to have access to about two thirds or maybe say for example say 66% of the world's population from the UAE which is about within an 8 hour flight span. So you have easy market access to entire European region, to entire Africa and to the rest of Asia from the UAE. Now looking into Sharjah specifically, Sharjah is actually known as the industrial backbone of the UAE. About 33% of the industrial output for the entire country is from Sharjah. Saying that Sharjah is also not just an industrialized city, we actually have a large diversity when it comes to the GDP. So there's a lot of industrial services as well as businessmen services, retail outlets and also trading and service activities who have their hubs in Sharjah. So the rating which is provided by Moody's etc. is an A3 financial rating for Safe Zone which is providing a very stable financial outlook for the city. And also the total GDP for Sharjah was valued at approximately 15 billion US dollars. Now as much as I can tell you that Sharjah is the backbone of the UAE, this is a better map and you can see like within the UAE Sharjah is actually right in between all the Emirates. So Dubai and Abu Dhabi are south of Sharjah and the rest of the Northern Emirates are right above Sharjah. And another interesting fact is Sharjah is the only emirate who have seaports on both the east and west of the UAE. So we have two seaports which are Port Khalid and Hamriya port which are on the western side and we have one port which is Khorfa Khan port which is based on the eastern side of the UAE. And another important fact is most people know Jablali seaport and a lot of the shipments generally tend to go towards Jablali port. And another good fact is Sharjah's connectivity and safe zone in particular. Because we are based in Sharjah, it takes you only about 45 minutes to one hour tracking time to have your goods sent across from Jablali port right into the safe zone. Now, why safe zone? There's a lot of different questions which come to an investor's mind when you're talking about, okay, why do I have to go and set up a company in a different country? Like, what are the benefits? There are a lot of different questions which comes out. And primarily, the main thing is, it's not only about pricing. It's about what type of benefits do I get? How am I going to expand my business? How am I going to get more clients or make more money? Or how does it all happen? It can be very intimidating for an investor when he's looking at setting up a new company. So firstly, I will take you in terms of why safe zone and what are the benefits which we provide for companies to set up. Now, primarily in order to set up a company in the UAE, you have two options. We have generally two different licensing bodies in the UAE which allow you to set up a company. One is an economic department where you would require a local sponsor to be 51% shareholder of your company. And the other option is where you can set up a company within a free zone and you can have 100% ownership of the company. So there are no restrictions in types of what nationality the shareholders should be. So you can have a single individual owner who has 100% ownership or you can have multiple different nationalities or of the same nationality where you can set up the company with 100% ownership. The other benefits include with regards to exemption from income tax and corporate tax. Also with regards to exemption from import and re-export duties as well as in terms of repatriation of capital. So 
the UAE government as a whole do not charge any sort of taxes or levies with regards to repatriating any sort of capital which is brought into the UAE to conduct business and also when you're taking back any sort of capital in terms of what you have brought in or even with regards to any profits that you have made into the country. Now these are the standard benefits of what we provide as a free zone but with regards to this safe zone in particular what we provide is with regards to strategic location. Like I mentioned earlier our location right between in the middle of the UAE allows easy access with regards to having easy access to national highways. So we are right in between two national highways which allows very good logistic connectivity. We are also right next to Sharjah International Airport. So for example like uh, Sir had mentioned there are direct flights right now from Surat to Sharjah and these land right next to Sharjah International Airport. So if you had to come in for any work into safe zone you can take a direct flight with Air India Express land come to safe zone, finish your work and you'll actually be able to come in the morning and get back to your home for dinner at the same time. So like investors, we understand time is money. So having to waste a few days here and there, it's not something which is an option for most of you. So that's why like our location is very important. With regards to this, we also understand that uh, companies might have to work with different time zones. So safe zones actually open for 24 hours. So be it companies who have trading activities, service activities or manufacturing activities, we are open 24 hours, we have our security teams which work 24 hours so that we allow you to stay open for 24 hours. And this was actually very key when it came to the peak season, especially peak problems when during the COVID situation, when we had a lot of manufacturing companies who were working 24 hours without having any interruptions. And this allowed most of these companies to keep running and also produce a lot of different products which was required within the UAE and also to export it to different markets which were in dire need of these products. And uh, another key factor which I would actually like to say is in terms of efficiency of how safe zone operates. So we are a free zone which is actually very particular about making sure that we are cost effective for Indian investors and also for investors from across the world and also in terms of the efficiency of getting the work done as soon as possible. So you will not be able to go to any free zone in the UAE and have them guarantee that we can provide you and help you register your company in under one hour. Like Mr. Mohammed actually he's been traveling to India for on and off probably for the last 20 odd years and he's actually I would say he's probably visited more, uh, more cities and towns in India than maybe everyone sitting in this room. <laughs> so probably at least over 200 cities covered in India. And what Mr. Mohammed and the rest of our team have understood is time is money and also efficiency. And because of this, we have streamlined our processes in such a way that we allow people to register their company within one hour. We allow you to set up and run, start running your business the same day you come and set up your company. In addition to this, being a free zone, we encompass all the possible requirements for a company to do their business within the free zone itself. So for example, like we can help you set up the company. We also have different departments within the safe zone who will help you with regards to adding more activities, increasing your office space, taking a warehouse space, renewing your company license, taking on more staff, applying for your visas. Anything and everything with regards to setting and running up of your company can all be processed within the free zone. And in addition to that, anything which you might require from different government authorities, we also have representative offices from them inside the free zone so that you don't have to go anywhere else outside in order to complete these processes as well. Now, in addition to this, like I said, we provide different licenses for you to do business, but we also provide different office types. We also provide labor accommodations for clients who have large scale manufacturing setups as well. So we give you anything and everything with regards to helping you run your business inside the free zone. Now I will take you through the entire process of step by step with regards to how you can set up your company. Now the first question is what type of legal structure do you want your company to be? Now within the free zone we allow primarily three different types. 
The first one is a free zone establishment, second is a free zone company, and thirdly, it's a branch or a subsidiary. Now, when it comes to a branch company, it's relatively straightforward. Whatever company you currently have right now, for example, here in India, you can set up a direct branch of this company back in, into UAE. So that company acts as an extension of the existing company here. When it comes to the free zone establishment and free zone company, the main difference is with regards to the number of shareholders. For example, a free zone establishment is a company which has one single shareholder. This can be a single individual, for example, myself who is the shareholder of the company, or it can be a single entity, which is a corporate entity, which is the shareholder for this. And this is classified as an FZE. And in case if there are multiple shareholders, for example, it can be multiple individuals, or it can also be multiple corporate entities, or a mix of corporate entities and individuals who are looking to form a company that would fall under FZC or a free zone company. Now, between the free zone FZE and FZC, the structure of the companies would still be a limited liability structure. The naming classification is mainly for the free zone and for other companies in the UAE to understand that this particular company has either one shareholder or multiple shareholders. Now, once you have completed the process of figuring out how you want to structure your company, the next step would be with regards to what type of activity do you need. Now, within the free zone, or basically in safe zone, we provide multiple different activities. Like when you might have seen the video, you would have seen that there are companies with regards to trading activities, service activities, and industrial activities. And within the free zone, we also have some companies who look to take multiple different activities under the same company. So you could have a company which has a manufacturing license, but at the same time, they might also have a trading activity and a service activity. So we do not constrict, like you know, contain anyone with regards to you can only take one or the other. We allow companies to take multiple different options with regards to whatever their business requirements might be. Now, the easiest way to differentiate between the industrial trading activity, what I would say is, with regards to an industrial activity, if there is any change in the shape or form of the product which you're bringing into the free zone, and then you're selling it on to someone else, if there is any change in the shape or form of the product or value addition which is done, we would consider it to be a manufacturing process. So this could be with regards to actually manufacturing the process from scratch to the finished product. It could be a small processing unit, anything with regards to packaging, repackaging or assembling. It would be considered an industrial activity and we would provide you the correct activity to do business in. With regards to the trading activity, any there's no change or shape in the form or pro form of the product which is brought in. So you would bring a product as whole and then you would send it across or sell it to different clients within the UAE or outside. That would be considered to be known as a trading activity. So you have options with regards to trading in textiles, trading in yarns, trading in, for example, gold, diamond, precious metals, and different different types of activities which we can provide for you, and that would classify under trading activity. So any company which is looking to do a distribution unit, set up a trading office, a branch office, whatever it may be, we can provide this activity. And we also have service activities which are available. Now, these can range into different types of services. So predominantly, we have a lot of management consultancy, accounting and bookkeeping, advisory services. And also, we have a lot of different IT-related activities and BPO offices which are based in safe zone. So when you like to say, for example, we have a lot of uh, companies which are like the famous companies like with regards to Tata, Ashok Leyland, we have uh, with regards to Godrej, Bepro, 3i, Infotech, Infosys, all of these companies who have some sort of an office space with trading or service activities who are based within the free zone. Now, once you have decided what type of structure you want, once you have decided what type of activity you would like, the next step would be in terms of what type of package or office space you would like to set up with. Now, what we, I would say, are very proud of is our safe office package. This package has been designed with respect to uh, the amount of times you have come to India. And what we've understood is, us as Indians have this idea that 
going into a new market and setting up a new company is a high risk venture. We have a lot of doubt in mind and we are afraid of, no, what if I put in this much money and don't make anything back? We can be very risk averse and because of this we have come up with a package which is the safe office package which is for approximately AED 10,800 which translates to just under 2 lakh rupees a year. What this package gives you is one activity, now this can be either a trading activity or a service activity. It gives you a fully furnished executive desk workspace which is dedicated just for that particular company which you can use 24 hours a day. And also it includes all the utilities with regards to electricity, water, whatever it may be. Now with this package, it gives you a valid trade license to conduct your business for one year. And it also gives you a quota of three visas which you can use either for the investor as an investor visa or you can utilize that for your sales staff or operational staff who want to be based within the free zone. So this package has been set up and kept in such a way that we can allow most companies to come and actually test the waters with regards to let me see if I can set up my business operation in the UAE. Let's see if we can try to conduct business and grow our business in a new market with as less risk as possible. So that's the package which we have come up which is the safe office package. Now with customers who are actually already exporting into the Middle East region or who already know that they want to expand with more staff etc. Then we offer the packages which are the safe executive package and the safe suite package. Now these are more independent offices where you can hire more number of staff under these companies and this is a larger office space ranging from about 100 square feet to 21 square meters or 220 square feet or larger. Now in addition to the office spaces we also provide facilities which are warehouses. All of these warehouses are ready built and ready to occupy. So, like I mentioned, we are able to set up and register your companies within one hour and this also includes when you want to actually lease a warehouse. These warehouses are all ready built and they already work on a set template. So each size, be it 125 square meter, 250 square meter, 400 square meter or even the 600 square meter warehouses, they all have ready built office spaces. So the moment you set up your company, it's also ready that we will give you the keys to your warehouse and the same day if you actually want to move in your machinery and start your manufacturing process or store your goods, you are able to do so. So there is no delay in time when it comes to actually starting and running your business operations. Now with regards to this, we also understand that certain business activities might have seasonal labor requirements. So if required with regards to additional labor or if you require any additional equipment hire which is required for certain movement of goods, the safe zone actually have a department which will help you with regards to taking staff on maybe on an hourly basis, daily basis or a weekly basis wherein you can have extra staff come and work under the particular company. We also have like forklifts and other equipment hire which is available on demand based on your request which can be leased from safe zone. And lastly the last potential requirement which we provide is also plots of land. Now there are certain clients who are not looking at, uh, at a long term option so they have their own requirements with how they want to construct their facility, how they want to set up their plant or unit or storage distribution hub. So we provide plots of land which start from 2500 square meter. Now we allow companies to construct approximately from 60 to 70 percent of the available plot of land wherein they are able to construct as per their requirement and accordingly coordinate with our electricity and water authority with regards to how much requirement of power they might need as well. With this what we would say is we provide lease periods of 25 years and after that we can also renew it again henceforth for another 25 years. At the same time we will also provide you your lease rates in terms of what is the rate per square meter for 25 years. So in case if you wanted to plan with regards to your expenditure for renewing your license and the lease terms, we will provide a guaranteed and fixed lease term for 25 years which will not change. 
this helps companies in order to plan ahead with regards to what their cost might be with regards to renewing the company on a yearly basis at the same time depending on how big a plot of land you're taking we can also accommodate rent free periods for companies because we understand if you're going to take a plot of land and construct it's going to take at least 6 months to a year to finish construction so understanding this we will give you rent free periods to accommodate that particular period where you are having a loss of revenue when you're constructing your facilities now i've gone through the entire process with regards to what is required for your company structure the type of licenses which are offered the different types of facilities which you offer for companies to set up and that's how you register your company but again like i mentioned earlier we also understand that you require a lot of other services than just us coming and telling you that this is how you set up your company and this is how you run your company we provide a lot of other value added services to make sure that the customers lifetime within the free zone or within the uae is as smooth as possible so we have a lot of different value added services which are provided with regards to having different fnb options so food and beverage outlets which cater to investors all the way down to white collar staff blue collar staff we have more than 60 different fnb outlets which are present in the free zone catering to different clientele so if you wanted to have a coffee shop meeting with different clients we have those available we also have like catering options for labor staff available on a very minimum cost effective option so we work throughout the entire spectrum to accommodate everyone as much as possible we also have different recreational facilities which are available for labor accommodation who are living within the free zone but these can also be also have fitness gyms etc which can be utilized by investors or staff who are coming to work within the free zone like i mentioned earlier we have 24 hour security which patrol and take occasional rounds within the free zone to make sure that it's a safe environment for both men women and workers who are working there 24 hours a day we provide visa sponsorship for all types of staff and again we also understand that tomorrow we might help you register a company but at certain cases like for example if for example any of our team we are traveling for work or we are on leave we might not always be reachable so for this we also have a dedicated call center for each department to help you understand and explain what any particular process might be or what are the next steps forward for any particular client in addition to this we also have different government authorities who have a dedicated office within the free zone so chamber of commerce with regards to your certificate of origin or any sort of other approvals which are required shaja municipality ministry of health etc all of them have some sort of a presence in the ua in safe zone to help you clarify any sort of questions you might have in addition to this we have a lot of exchange houses which is actually very key factor for most of the labor staff who are living there because they tend to send a lot of money back home to their family here in india and again clinics pharmacies we have a post office which is there as well as a safe mall which is having like a travel shop in order for people to book tickets we have coffee shops restaurants and different facilities which might be required for everyone so like we generally like to say safe zones a city within a city we have approximately 60000 people who live and work in safe zone on a daily basis so we have to provide these type of value added services in order to accommodate and make sure that everyone's business and personal lives run as smooth as possible so thank you again from uh, safe zone side in order to listen to all of what we had to say and uh, i would like to invite mr mohammed and mr rajiv on stage to answer any sort of questions mm -hmm. you might have thank you aur apne sawal puch sakte hain jo bhi inke bare mein additional information aapko chahiye kuch jankari chahiye so we have team of the safe zone yes sir regarding your 2500 square meter plot and the industry to put on there what is the effluent treatment plant you are providing you are providing water 
avoiding electricity, but the affluent statement is it is So generally, sorry, yeah. So generally, when we provide a plot of land, the same zone is approximately nine square kilometers in size, and we have been expanding every year since 1995 because we are a government authority. As per requirement, we can expand. Now, whenever we do provide a plot of land. There are enough ample resources where, depending on what your requirement is, we can draw electricity and water lines to that particular plot. So based on your construction requirements, we will have your team coordinate with our Safe Zones Engineering Department and the Sharjah Electricity and Water Authority with regards to setting up that particular power plant along with the water requirement which will come into your plot. My question is, if it is a little bit polluted industry, yes. so what is the facility for ETPFL treatment plant? Uh, that what we would what we would gently do is we would have our health and safety department look into it. So, for example, if you can give us a project summary or a business plan of what exactly you would be doing, we would have our health and safety department go through it. If there are any particular requirements which you might have to do, our health and safety department would inform us and we would get back to you and say that these are the particular requirements that you would have to do for this particular industry. And then we would communicate that and work through that with how best you can move forward from there. Thank you. And we do have a wastewater treatment plant, processing plants all over there. So all environment related things are taken care of our HSC department. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. My question is regarding license. If I am going for multiple activities, so one license uh, required or multiple license? So now this depends on two things. So if you want to have a trading activity, we can give you, for example, say we have met with you earlier today, so you had spoken about having a textile trading activity. We can give you, for example, textile trading. But in case if you wanted to get into different activities, we can provide those also under trading. Now, if you require two separate with regards to one trading and one service, that also we can provide. So we are very flexible with regards to how and what type of activities which we can provide for you. So based on your requirements, we'll be able to accommodate those as well. Thank you. Hi, I was just taking uh, Bharat Bhai's question ahead, like uh, you mentioned that you have effluent treatment plants out there. Is it specific to certain industries, like only the textiles or like even if you want to set up base a chemical industry? So do you have the effluent treatment plants for all sort of uh, Processing or there are certain restrictions, like if I want to set up an ethanol plant or an ethyl acetate plant out there. So do you have, here we require certain permissions and certain uh, facilities. So I'm sure even there you will be having those facilities or can you just highlight on that? So the water treatment plant and the waste treatment plant, they cater to all industries. So safe zone is a general free zone and we have a lot of clients from chemical, indus chemical industries, we have uh, textile and aerospace, like maybe at least 10, 20 different industries have some sort of a base there. So we have a common sewage, water and sewage treatment plant which will be able to accommodate everyone's request. It's just that with regards to industrial activities, our health and safety department will also coordinate with regards to providing the license. So they will also want to see that, okay, what type of waste might be generated, how best they'll be able to work on it, certain things, if it is okay or not okay. Before you come in itself, we'll be able to provide them the business plan and the project summary, and they'll be able to advise you before we start anything itself that, okay, these are the do's, these are the don'ts, and this is what is possible, this is what is not possible. Thank you. I am from Fosta. <coughs> मेरा प्रश्न ये है कि ये तो आपने इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के संबंधित बात बताई लैंड बिल्डिंग वाटर सप्लाई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सर्वेंट रूम्स ऑल ये जैसे हम वहाँ 
किस को ट्रेड करें किस को माल दें इस पर का कोई फैसिलिटी आप प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं क्या जैसे हमारा कोई प्रोडक्ट है हमने वहाँ स्टोर किया उसका परचेजर कौन उसकी मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग सपोज प्रोड्यूसिंग ट्री के हमने कर लिया इंडिया से इंपोर्ट कर लिया या वहाँ प्रोड्यूस कर लिया मैन्यूफेक्चर कर लिया उसकी मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग में आप क्या हेल्प कर सकते हैं आप हमारी बोल डायरेक्टली सॉरी आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट इन इंग्लिश सो बट आई एम नॉट कमिंग अक्रॉस प्रॉफिट सो फ्रॉम आर परस्पेक्टिव वी आर अ गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी विच इज अ लाइसेंसिंग बॉडी सो प्रिडोमिनेटली वी कैन नॉट गेट इन टू हेल्पिंग क्लाइंट्स विद रिगार्ड सो कैन मीस द क्लाइंट्स विच यू वर्क बट वट वी कैन एक्चुअली डू फॉर यू इज वॉन्ट्स वी अंडरस्टैंड वट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस एक्टिविटी यू आर डूइंग विद रिगार्ड्स टू वट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइंट्स यू लुकिंग एट we will be able to provide advice based on what we have seen existing customers so if we know that your particular product is useful for particular customers who are inside the free zone we will be able to recommend you to them yeah in addition to this we also would explain so certain uae is actually a hub for majority of the world's trade organizations and trade events which happen so if there is a particular uh, exhibition which is happening you would have suppliers traders buyers from multiple different countries who come into that region so for example say if it is with food related we would say gulf food if it's it related we would say jitex so depending on what is happening we also will be able to tell you which exhibition to participate in we would help you get in touch with the sharja chamber of commerce who would be able to organize trade visits in the uae and also outside the uae we'll be able to put you in touch directly with the different uh, business councils which are available there in the uae so directly we will not be able to assist you because at the end of the day we are a licensing body and we are a government facilitator but whatever we can do from our side to make sure that your business is running and you can expand your business we will try from our side definitely can i ask one question can i ask one? yes yes you can Can you give some rough idea? What is the unit price for electricity and uh, water charges for one uh, kiloliter? Approximately. Yeah, uh, uh, so, if you're looking at the electricity rate, it's roughly 0.046 kilowatt uh, terms per kilowatt hour, and the water rates would be 0.0046 terms per gallon for 10 thousand, like per gallon. दोस्तों जो आगे सवाल पूछेगा उसको बहुत शॉर्ट में मैं यहाँ से बताना चाहूँगा क्योंकि कुछ लोग शायद समझ नहीं पाए तो एक चीज़ जो पूछी गई थी कि वहाँ पे जो पर्यावरण रिलेटेड जितनी भी चीज़ें हैं अगर वहाँ पे कोई ऐसा प्लान या प्रोजेक्ट हम डाल रहे हैं तो क्या उसकी सुविधा हमें मिलेगी जिसका जवाब इन्होंने दिया है कि वहाँ पर जो भी एनवायरमेंट रिलेटेड प्रिकॉशंस है वो सारी सहूलतें वहाँ पर मौजूद है ऑलरेडी उनके फ्री जोन में कुछ केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज ये सब एस्टाब्लिश है और उनकी व्यवस्था भी वो ऑलरेडी कर रहे हैं तो वो आसान है इन्होंने सवाल पूछा था कि क्या वहाँ से हमें मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड कोई सपोर्ट मिलेगा तो इन्होंने कहा कि डायरेक्टली बीइंग गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी वो आपको मार्केटिंग का सपोर्ट नहीं दे पाएंगे लेकिन जितने भी फॉरम्स हैं जैसे वहाँ के ट्रेड एसोसिएशन है इंडस्ट्रीज जैसे हमारे चैम्बर ऑफ कॉमर्स है उस माध्यम से आपको लोगों तक कनेक्शन वो करवा सकते हैं जहाँ जहाँ भी उनसे पॉसिबल है आपको रिप्रेजेंट करवा के आपको एक कनेक्शन करवा सकते हैं क्योंकि यू ही अपने आप में एक बिजनेस का बहुत बड़ा हब है लोग वहाँ बिजनेस एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए आते हैं तो दे केन बी अ ब्रिज बिटवीन बायर्स एंड यू दैट इज वॉट उन्होंने अभी अब जो हमको बताया we have different industry centers which are very strong one of the industry sectors was a food processing unit now this person used to make uh, different types of processed food like tomato paste jams juices etc he was actually looking for a buyer like a supplier who could provide him steel cans or the cans or the packaging during one of our road shows he had come and visited and he had spoken about his company at the same time there was someone who was able to actually supply and manufacture these cans and tins for him now this company is actually come into safe zone he set up a company in safe zone only to supply to this person right now he is dealing with maybe four or five different industries within the fnb sector and he's actually grown his business to a level where he just came in for a meeting and he found someone and he's grown tenfold so 
सी बहुत बढ़िया एग्जाम्पल इन्होंने दिया है कि एक वहाँ पे फूड प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट था जिनको स्पेशल पैकेजिंग की रिक्वायरमेंट थी और ऐसे ही किसी फॉरम में उनसे मुलाकात हुई और उस व्यक्ति ने स्पेशली पैकेजिंग यूनिट वहाँ पे एस्टेब्लिश किया और ऐसी जिनकी रिक्वायरमेंट थी ऐसी चार पांच कंपनियों को उन्होंने वो फूड जो पैकेजिंग मटेरियल था वो सप्लाई करना शुरू किया सो दिस काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी दे कैन क्रिएट फॉर अस so from different industries so there are times there are lot of investors and companies who are there in safe zone where they actually only deal with only safe zone companies because there are so many options and opportunities that they are only really able to deal with these companies they can't even look into other free zones or other companies to do business with so you have options only inside the free zone and also rest of you aim for you to like depending on your product and what you are providing you will easily be able to find the customers inside the ua सी इनका कहना है कि फ्री जोन अपने आप में इतना बड़ा एक हब है जहाँ पे इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटी है कि कुछ कंपनियाँ जो है वो सिर्फ फ्री जोन की कंपनी को ही अपने मटेरियल और सर्विस प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं दैट इज सफिशियंट फॉर दैम उन्होंने बाहर जाके बिजनेस ढूंढने की कोशिश नहीं करनी पड़ रही है जैसे मान सुबह इंडस्ट्री के लिए पच्चीस स्क्वायर मीटर्स या उससे ऊपर आप दे रहे हैं जगह तो मेरा दो क्वेश्चन है अगर छोटी जगह चाहिए तो इजी अवेलेबल और जो लीज पे दे रहे हो उसका क्या लीज रेंट रहेगा मतलब ईयरली या मंथली या जो भी है इंडस्ट्री को मैं ख्याल से सबको जानने की जरूरत मतलब ये हो सो बेसिकली विद रिगार्ड टू प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड वी गिव ओनली स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर्स बिकॉज वी हैव रेडीमेड वेयर हाउसेज विच आर अवेलेबल वेयर क्लाइंट्स कैन यूटिलाइज दैट विच आर रेडीमेड द प्लॉट्स ऑफ लैंड आर मेनली फॉर क्लाइंट्स हु वॉन्ट टू मॉडिफाई एंड प्रिपेयर एंड मेक इट इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे विच दे सी बेस्ट एंड इट्स इज मोर लॉन्ग टर्म दे नो दैट दे गोइंग टू बी फॉर वेयर हाउसेज वॉट वी हैव इज वी हैव स्टाइसेज फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वायर मीटर टू फिफ्टी स्क्वायर मीटर फोर हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर विच आर स्टैंडर्ड अगेन इफ यू टेल एस दैट यू नो आई नीड थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर्स वील बी एबल टू गिव यू ब्लॉक्स ऑफ वेयर हाउस and we can open up the walls between the warehouse so that it's used as one big space of for example say 1000 2000 square meters and all of these warehouses are ready to use so the same day you pay for it you can come in start switch on the power electricity water everything ready you can start your production or storage whatever it might be the same day itself and the rent roughly uh, so different sizes have different rents With regards to per square meter rate, so if you can just let us know what exactly you are looking at, we'll be able to provide you the exact rates by. See, uh, in fact, the question was that if other, who 2500 square meter ke alawa kisi ko kisi size ka plot chahiye, toh kaise wo kar sakte hain? And he shared that ki jo hamare ready made. Uh, अभी जो वेयर हाउसेज है आप उसको ले सकते हैं एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट इंटरमीडिएट दीवार को हटा के अपने रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से अपना यूनिट आप सेटअप कर सकते हैं ये ट्रेडिंग के लिए शॉप का क्या है जी कहां से ट्रेडिंग ट्रेडिंग के लिए शॉप जैसे आप शॉप फैसिलिटीज रिटेल फैसिलिटीज हमारे पास नहीं है एक्चुअली uh, हम लोग uh, आपको कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं जो भी क्लाइंटेल्स जो जोन के अंदर हैं उधर आपका प्रोडक्ट लाइन के हिसाब में वी कैन शेयर यू द डिटेल्स स्पेसिफिक टू योर लाइन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड सो दैट लाइक यू कैन गेट कनेक्टेड टू इट अदर देन दैट रिटेल फैसिलिटेशन इज नॉट देर हमारे जैसे सूरत में जो बिजनेस चलता है मिडल माल का डेली प्रोडक्शन है तो हम भी ये चाहते हैं कि कोई हमारे को एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म मिले जहाँ पे हम अपनी सेल बढ़ा सके और मैं ये मानता हूँ कि दुबई जो है ऑल वर्ल्ड का मार्केट है तो ये हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छी बात है कि आप यहाँ पे आए हैं हमारे को ये सुविधा प्रदान करें तो हम ये चाहेंगे कि वहाँ पे भी एक इस टाइप का मार्केट बने जिसमें कि सूरत से इंडिया से भी एक फैब्रिक है कि मेटेरियल है साड़ियाँ वगैरह जो वहाँ पे उपलब्ध होती है उसके लिए एक अलग से एक मार्केट बनाते हैं तो ये बहुत अच्छा रहेगा सर बेसिकली ये इज मिस्टर मनोज अग्रवाल फ्रॉम फोस्ता सो ही इज बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ सूरत टेक्सटाइल ट्रेडर्स एसोसिएशन सो डेफिनेटली ही विल टॉक अबाउट ट्रेड एंड ही इज रिक्वेस्टिंग दैट द वे वी आर क्रिएटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ट्रेड एंड इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली ओवर दैन सो वाई वी कैन नॉट एक्सप्लोर दैन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर रिटेल मार्केट लाइक वी हैव इन सूरत टेक्सटाइल मार्केट एंड अदर अपॉर्चुनिटी So, uh, two things, two part answer. One part is with regards to how we can help you with the uh, this thing. Firstly, thing is, the free zones are built mainly for B2B trade. 
so allowing you to sell to other people who might sell so you can sell to retailers who are selling locally in the local market or you can sell to people who are buying for different countries that is primarily the main idea of a free zone because you can come into the market see how your products are moving in the local market rather than if you are going to set up a retail unit there's a lot of investment required you need a local partner you set up your company tomorrow within one year if you're not able to sell there's a lot of capital which is being wasted on that and it's more of a high risk high you know win or loss percentage which is there with regards to this what the free zone does is we allow you to come in you can look into uh, retailers or traders who are actually buying the products which you require and you can sell to them that is the main idea of what we provide so we provide you a more less risk option to come into a new market secondly what we have seen uh, predominantly in the local market is there are a lot of retailers who will actually keep the product on a consignment basis so with regards to textiles sarees and different uh, products like this there are a lot of expats like i mentioned we have about 3.5 million indian expats who live here now every summer or december it's wedding season so you will find everyone coming here for wedding season and they can't actually buy products there in india because they have to get it stitched everything or ready made goods so what we have seen is there are a lot of people who actually give the products so sarees whatever the other textiles might be they provide it to these retail stores on a consignment basis so they provide it and keep it as and when it is being sold they get paid for it so this is an option which we would generally say is we can look into providing you options with okay look at these retailers they'll be able to keep the products for you but like you can set up the company provide all these goods to these companies whenever they sell it they'll be able to bank transfer the amount to you and that is one option to look at once you feel like okay my products are moving regularly now it is a safe option for me to set up a retail store then you can set up the retail store and go ahead but otherwise directly going into retail is always like a high risk venture which we generally don't recommend for clients so jaisa ki inhone pehle bataya tha ki ye free zone jo bana gaya hai wo exclusively yahan pe hame 100% ownership milti hai otherwise in rest of out of the free zone हमें वहाँ के किसी व्यक्ति के साथ पार्टनरशिप करके 51 परसेंट पार्टनरशिप उनकी रहती है तो जब हम रिटेल की बात करते हैं तो आउटसाइड फ्री जोन होता है तो वहाँ पर हमें किसी के साथ पार्टनरशिप करना मैंडेटरी है तो इनका ये सजेशन है कि आप अगर चाहें तो फ्री जोन में अपना वेयर हाउस बना सकते हैं वहाँ से आप लोकल सप्लाई रेगुलर अगर आपकी प्रोडक्ट वहाँ के मार्केट में चल रही है तो आप उसका एक लोकल सप्लाई वहाँ से क्रिएट कर सकते हैं सो फ्री जोन कैन सप्लाई टू लोकल मार्केट ऑल्सो दैट इज दैट इज नो चैलेंज एज पर रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ओवर दैट तो आप वहाँ सप्लाई कीजिए और आप फ्री जोन में ये फैसिलिटी ले सकते हैं अदरवाइज दूसरा ऑप्शन है आपको अगर रिटेल वहीं पे एस्टाब्लिश ही करना है तो आप वहाँ किसी के साथ गवर्नमेंट रूल के हिसाब से पार्टनरशिप करके आप अपना रिटेल आउटलेट वहाँ बना सकते हैं hello like if we have a retail facility within the free zone and then if you are selling the product outside in uae so then to be the tax section will come right we can provide a license okay. for example uh, so this will touch points for yeah. both of them we can provide you b2c option which is basically an e-commerce license so if anyone wants to buy they can come check your product buy it online do the payment online it is possible but like you said you are able to sell it to the local market whenever there is a sale into the local market there is a 5% vat which will be applicable like for trading what you mentioned uh, trading they can have the goods out there yes. and from there if they are doing local trade into uae then they have to pay that duty and if they are doing trading uh, trading outside yeah so if you are doing any local sales now because of sepa there is no customs duty which is applicable right. there are roughly about close to 8000 different products which are coming from india to uae, UAE right. so that removes the tariffs for about 97% of all products now there is no customs duty any local sale which is happening there is a 5% value added tax or vat which is taken which is applicable for any sales local market in case if you are actually selling to any designated free zone there is no vat which is charged and anything which is sold outside the uae there is no vat charge only if you select only that that will be applicable from the free zone if you selling it within the uae yes 
सी इनका कहना है कि बहुत सिंपल अरेंजमेंट है अगर आप फ्री जोन में बेच रहे हो तो आपको कोई टैक्स नहीं लग रहा है फ्री जोन से किसी और फ्री जोन में बेच रहे हो तो भी टैक्स नहीं लग रहा है लेकिन फ्री जोन से अगर आप लोकल मार्केट में सेल कर रहे हो तो फाइव परसेंट वैल्यू एडेड टैक्स विल भी एप्लीकेबल ऑन योर ट्रेडिंग Outside, uh, so tax weight refund will be at the airport. Yes, so there there. is a particular VAT related uh, mechanism which is regarding that. Mm. I am not uh, accountant, so I cannot give you the exact mechanism. But there are uh, accountants who will be able to explain the exact uh, VAT refund process. For you. Generally, in EU and all that, then uh, when you take outside this, you buy from retail. Yes. And you show them at the custom while go out. Yes. They give weight refund. Exactly. Right? So that is for retail guard refunds, and also with regards to B to B guard refunds, is also possible. जो लीज के आपने बात करी कि भाई हम लीज पे वहाँ पे जमीन देंगे तो उसका ड्यूरेशन कितना रहेगा? So we can, so from our side, we can give you fixed rates for 25 years. हम बोल सकते हैं कि year one, for example. This much, year two, this much, year three, this much. It will remain. So, 25 years, we will tell you that each year this will be your rent. After 25 years, you can renew it again for another 25 years. But there is no compulsion, or it is not fixed that you have to renew. You have to pay for 25 years. Every year, when you are renewing the company, we always give every client the option that do you want to continue or not continue. If you want to say I will cancel the leave, you are free to do so. But from our side, to help you with your planning and your financial planning, we will tell you that these are the rates which are fixed for 25 years, so that you can automatically plan and keep everything in advance that this is what it should be. As regards to people setting up the unit there, what are the financial implications and uh, help that you can provide to set up a unit there? We are actually a license issuing authority and uh, we facilitate to form companies and uh, uh, facilitate to give uh, other infrastructure requirements actually. We are not directly linked to any type of finance support and uh, that's uh, not into our category of uh, license. But surely you can opt for once you form your company as a startup with the minimum uh, investment and once you start your uh, business uh, down the line six to seven months with your credit records and all, uh, surely there are other uh, banking parameters wherein you can get assistance. So, it's a very simple question. What can you give us financial support from there? I mean, you're giving the land and you're giving the money. So, you're giving the money. So, it's a very simple question that they are the authority. These people can give you the opportunity. फाइनेंशियल लाइबिलिटीज जो भी है अपॉर्चुनिटी वो आपको आपके बैंकिंग सर्विस के एरिया में आता है वो गवर्नमेंट के एरिया में नहीं आता है तो ये लोग आपको सुविधा के लिए जो लाइसेंसिंग प्रोसेस है ये वो प्रदान कर सकते हैं बाकी आपके क्रेडेंशियल और वहाँ के जो बैंकिंग रूल्स है उस हिसाब से हमें मनी प्रोक्योरमेंट करनी है बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा एंड ऑल द बैंक आर ओवर देयर ऑल्सो सो यहाँ से आप टाइप करके उनके साथ कुछ लाइसनिंग करके आप चाहे तो पैसा ले सकते हैं Uh, Bank of Baroda is one of the banks which is available here as well as there. Aapka idhar ka credentials lakkar, collateral lakkar, aapko kaise bhi udhar bhi funding mil jate hain. But uh, actually when it comes to us, we are actually the facilitator. So, hum log aapko guide kar sakte hain, but we are not the any type of decision making support system for uh, finance facilities. Uh, since you talked about the safe offices, uh, wherein uh, the ERD rental is two lakhs, I guess. Uh, do they get a dedicated space for that? And what, uh, if yes, then uh, what is the size of that office? So we would provide, like for example, anything in sales zone, whatever we provide, we do not provide anything which is shared by someone else. So for example, with the safe office package, you would be dedicated, you will be given a dedicated workspace. So there would be a room where there's one particular portion which is partitioned off and provided for you. It's roughly about 50 square feet. So it would have a table, a couple of chairs, a small cupboard, and your nameplate outside the door, and also in your nameplate at the entrance of the building. 
So it's basically a co-working space kind of thing. Not particularly a co-working space. So like co-working space would be, for example, a larger hall with multiple options. This would be like one particular room. There would be split partitions for up to two or three companies. So in that particular room, you would have what your particular area for a workspace, which is partitioned off with your nameplate outside the door and also your nameplate outside at the main entrance of the building. Whereas like there are other options wherein you see that it's a co-working space or you can use it for one hour, two hours, three hours. This creates a lot of different compliance issues. Whereas safe zones are actually the only free zone in the UAE where we actually give the minimum option as a dedicated space. Like whatever we provide for a client is actually just specifically for use for the client and not shared by anyone else. Center said that if you have offices, you will get to which type of offices will get, especially for service provider. And in case of that, dedicated private space will be given. This co-working space, like in one room, where ten people are sitting, will not be there. Dedicated offices will be given. It will be a small size office, or multiple offices on the same floor, or might be that kind of setup. We will get there. Thank you. The, any usefulness for IT industry, yeah, software or service industry? Yes, yeah, so we actually have a lot of companies within the IT sector. Now, looking into the future also, this particular sector has a lot of use in the UAE. Now, I can tell you that you know we have all these big IT companies and forces we are all are present in the UAE. But at the same time, we also require a lot of SMEs and MSMEs which need to come into the market because we have. Within same zone itself, 8,000 companies. Within UAE, if you look into it, over the, the first quarter of the year, we have registered more than 100,000 new companies into the local market. So, just to cater to the UAE market itself, there is a very large requirement for IT-related companies because this is something which is very key for the future. But depending on what type of IT product you are providing, I can definitely guarantee you that there will be at least a few different clients that you'll be able to tap into and target them through this market. Any B2B portal for marketing the products? There are different portals. Now, these are mainly through the Chamber of Commerce, which are available. So, for example, any companies which are able, like registering within the free zone, can, for example, say if it is Sharjah, you'll be able to register through the Sharjah Chamber of Commerce have your particular ID and have access to their B2B portal. Now, the B2B portal will also be online as well as like in-person B2B meetings which are conducted by the Chamber of Commerce on a regular weekly basis. Thank you. I think the future is good. It's a lot of industry there and the rest of it is about 1,000,000 lakhs. If the industry is registered, then definitely it's a good future. We are from EV industries. Uh, right now, we are manufacturing over here electric vehicles, electric motorcycles. So, if we want to assemble a manufacturing plant over there in UAE, in Sarjah, so is there any pioneer project provision over there for, from the government side or the green funds, something like that, from the bank loan? So, that we need to understand. See, predominantly we are not within the sector where we have a complete understanding of what loans are there. Our main benefit is, from a free zone perspective, what I can say is as when we are giving you 0% tax, income tax, corporate tax, everything, that itself is a big benefit which maybe most countries don't provide. Now, with regards to your question, we will be able to look into it if required that, okay, if there are any particular funds for any sort of EV vehicle manufacturing, we can have a look. So just drop us an email, we'll be able to look what exactly you require and we'll try to get back to you with any best options which are possible. Yes, we have we have a plan for uh, manufacturing, assembly plant uh, over there in UAE and we need the plant for the, uh, from free zone. Yeah. So in that case, what we, will, we are going to do, we'll import uh, some parts from India, some parts from China or somewhere else and assemble a full product and will supply it to European market or US market, so something like that. We, we need I to understand. Do. So from our side, we will be able to provide facilities in terms of any sort of warehouses, plots of land, etc. From our side, what we can provide, we can help you. 
Now, with regards to your question about funding, etc., like we mentioned earlier, we are a facilitator, so we don't have exact knowledge of how we can help you with funding. But if you can put across your project summary, we will be able to check with the different government authorities which are there within the free zone in order to see how best we can help you. Hello. And uh, sorry, just to interrupt, we also have like QR codes which are present on every table. So in case if you wanted to access the safe zone brochures, you can do so by just using the scanning the code. Sorry. Yes, Mahendra from Textile, right? Okay, my question is that the benefit you provide is for how how long? कितने समय तक आप ये जो benefits वाला जो जो भी scheme आप दे रहे हैं, उसका period कहाँ तक का है? उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा बताएं। So the benefits will continue as long as you are renewing your company license. Means keep five years, ten years, two years, three years. How much ever you are renewing your license? If you can renew your license for hundred years, we'll give you the benefit for hundred years. Thank you. License sir, sir, will you do it? Benefit of Chai Tabta please. If there are no more questions, then we will assume everyone is ready to set up a company. Hello. Good evening all of you. Myself Akash and uh, I am representing my company which is uh, doing job in environmental services. So, sir, my question is, uh, how can I apply for my field? Uh, our project is uh, mainly our doing the ETB project, sir. Affluent treatment plant and civil treatment plant. So, how can I provide my services there? So, like for example, like I mentioned, so we have different types of activities which we provide. Actually, actually here, sir, uh, my company is providing uh, GPCB related services and CPCB related services, which is NOCs, uh, different things, is a uh, construction of EDP, designing of EDP in Surat and all over India, sir. Yeah, so like in your case, for example, this is an example where we provide you a service license. Yes. Now, understanding what your exact requirements are, we'll be able to look into the system and provide you a particular sort of consultancy or service license, which you can do. Now, another thing which I like to touch upon is any and all activities in terms of manufacturing, like any sort of industrial trading or service license which is provided in the UAE, it's all as per the ISEC licensing regulations. Now, certain countries, as per the memorandum, is a little bit vague in terms of what activities are provided. In the UAE, we have a Ministry of Economy, which is the central body with regards to helping issue any type of licenses or activities. So they have provided us with a list which has to be followed by all the licensing bodies. We would look into that and we can share across with you that this is a particular activity which we feel is best suited for you with the activity description. You can have a look at it. If you feel like this is exactly what you require, then we'll be able to provide you that particular service activity. Or if you feel like there are multiple service activities which would cover what you have to do, we'll be able to actually provide you a package with multiple service activities also. Thank you. Fair enough. Uh, I think no question. Thank you very much. Dosto, uh, I think it is informative and uh, definitely they have tried to give their best answers, best possible answers to all of you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all the people. Thanks a lot. You can uh, rejoin us in the first row. Now, friends, I would like to say that the talk about traders is happening in Surat and the Saadi training is happening. So, I would like to invite here to Fosta to Sri Manoj Agrawal Ji to give a little bit of an industry introduction. I would like to invite Manoj Agrawal Ji. नमस्कार निश्चित तौर पे इसका बेनिफिट हमारे ट्रेडर्स भाइयों को भी मिलेगा मैं ये बताना चाहूँगा कि जो ट्रेडर्स भाई है वो दुबई से काफ़ी साइड की जो कंट्री है उसमें काफ़ी माल सप्लाई करते हैं तो इसमें ये जो प्लेटफॉर्म है इनको मैं एक मेरी रिक्वेस्ट भी की थी अगर वहाँ पे अगर हम मार्केटिंग करते तो हमारा कोई डिटेल मार्केट के लिए हम नहीं चाहते वहाँ पे हमारे यहाँ जो जो जाता है बलूट में बहुत क्वांटिटी में माल जाता है तो ये एक हमारे रहने की व्यवस्था और वहाँ पे जो आपने माल की रखी है
तो इसका बेनिफिट मिलेगा और मैं आपकी जो समझ के और एक मैं विजिट करना चाहूँगा कि हमारे ट्रेडर्स भाइयों का एक डेलीगेशन लेके और ये सेल्फ जोन जो है देख के आएगा वैसे तो नाम से भी काफ़ी बेनिफिट मिल रहा है कि सेफ जोन जो कि सबको सेफ तो ऐसे पहले ही महसूस हो रहा है नाम के साथ में भी तो इसका बेनिफिट हम जरूर लेंगे आपने घोषणा को इन्वाइट किया इसके लिए धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच दोस्तों हमारे यहाँ परंपरा है कि जो भी मेहमान हमारे बीच होते हैं उन्हें हम कुछ ना कुछ स्मूर्ति चिन्ह देते हैं और आज हमारे बीच कुछ ऐसे डिग्नेटरीज हैं स्पेशली यू से हमारे बीच में मौजूद है तो हम उनको यहाँ पर सम्मानित भी करना चाहेंगे और हमारी याद यहाँ से लेके जाए और हमारे पास वो चीज़ है कि जो डेफिनेटली वो याद रख सके द स्टैचू ऑफ यूनिटी की जब बात करते तो उनकी एक प्रतिकृति हमारे बीच में है तो वी वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट दैम आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइस इज एक्सलेंस मिस्टर मोहम्मद ऑन द डायस एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट रेयांस वाई टू प्रेजेंट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ